How's it going everybody? It's the man. The myth. The legend quad MFT here and in today's video I'll be bringing you guys another questions and answers video. So first off I'm going to be telling you guys how you guys are going to be able to send in questions for me to answer and to be able to be featured in my videos. You, What you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to go down in the description below. You're going to want to go ahead and click that follow button on my Twitter account because it will be linked there. I tweet basically quite a little bit too often. I believe I have over 10,000 tweets but that's, that's not too much compared to a few people that have over 50,000 and 100,000 which is just absolutely crazy but the reason why I have so many tweets is because I really like interacting with you guys but for my question and answer guys if you don't have a Twitter make sure to go ahead and make one really fast they're really really easy to make I guarantee you can make at least three Twitter accounts in under three minutes so okay starting off with question number one from one of my friends Keshav Kumar he's definitely one of my loyal subscribers I believe I knew him since under 300 subscribers and now I'm almost at over 10,000 which guys that's absolutely amazing so thank you guys so much for over almost over 10 thousand subscribers so he says in his question to me saying do you like sloths I mean dude hold on hold on let's just pause for a little bit of a second how can you not like sloths I mean of course sloths are one of the greatest animals created but here's a little bit of a fact I bet you guys probably didn't know this but when sloths are like swinging from trees to trees and they're really slow animals so of course they're swinging really slowly when they're swinging they uh, they grab onto a branch and they try to grab onto their arm thinking it's another branch and let go of the hand that's actually on the branch and that's how like 40% of sloths end up dying in the in the wild or something crazy like that that I, I couldn't do that that'd be really scary but I they're kind of dumb. I mean, honestly, they're cool animals. But moving on to the next question from my friend. He's not my friend, but he's one of my subscribers. And I consider most of my subscribers friends. Really cool guys. A lot of them can be really awesome. So thank you guys if you're uh, my awesome subscribers. I think most of my subscribers are awesome. But starting up from HVG Espada, I believe is how you pronounce it, saying, do you tell your friends about the whole YouTube thing? What do they think of it? So starting off with, them, with him saying, do you tell your friends about the whole YouTube? And I have to say, I tell basically every single one of my friends. I mean, it's not like when I meet a new friend or I meet somebody at maybe a baseball game or something like that. I don't say, hey, man, I do YouTube and make Call of Duty videos on the Internet and I partner with Machinima. It's, it's not like that. I mean, if they ask, like, what do you guys do? I say, well, I like to play basketball. I like to do this. I like to run cross country. I like to make Call of Duty videos. It's like that, but it's not like I go off and just say all this random stuff. Like, I, I use the hammer in every gameplay. I use the MTAR. I use the P, PDW all the time. I play Call of Duty all day and do nothing else because that's not really true. But, yes, I tell my friends about it and my friends actually they th they think it's really cool and I like that they think it's really cool I like that they respect it so thanks for sending in that question and uh, from another question coming one of my best friends like he's been my best friend in real life too he probably is my best friend in real life new too right now but his Twitter is Moonskid, and he asks, do you like Emma Stone? And I mean, how can you not like Emma Stone? I mean, honestly, she's really pretty. She's I can tell she's kind of cool. Her voice is like a raspy voice, and she says she got that voice from screaming a ton when she was, I believe, nine years old. She screamed for like three days straight or something crazy like that. I mean, I, I've done that with Call of Duty. I screamed three years straight. No, that, I, I rage, but I don't rage that hard. That'd be really crazy, but that's kind of cool how her voice is like that. She's really pretty. I can tell she's a cool person, so yeah, I guess I like Emma Stone. I mean, how could you not? I mean, honestly, Emma Stone's pretty cool. And then the next question coming from my dad actually he tweeted me. I didn't even realize this until it actually came from my dad. And he says, who was the first YouTuber that you subscribed to? Now, the first YouTuber that I subscribed to when I had my own account, which of course is Quadum FT, I would definitely have to say the first person that I really like and actually started to get into their videos was probably White Boy 7th Street. Now, why I started to watch White Boy 7th Street videos? Because ba way back when, in the beginning of Modern Warfare 2, is when stuff started to inspire me to get actually into Call of Duty. So he inspired me to get better at the game because he was uploading like 100 pluses with snipers and being really entertaining and uploading all these crazy gameplays. So he was definitely probably the first person I subscribed to. I believe then I subscribed to Blame Truth, I think. I think. Maybe, just maybe, but I'm not sure. But yeah, those are the main guys that I originally subscribed to. And then the next question comes from one of my good friends, GamerGuyHD. His full name is MW3GamerGuyHD. And he says, do you prefer Black Ops 2 or Modern Warfare? three and on this question I'm gonna have to go with the a little bit of the less popular opinion saying I do enjoy Modern Warfare 3 a little bit more now I'm gonna go in depth on why I think Modern Warfare 3 is in more of an enjoyable game for me I think it's more of an enjoyable game mainly because of the fact that it has specialists and moabs because that's really what kept me going you could do so many different things with the moabs just practically unlimited things it was absolutely crazy so tell me down in the comment section below what do you guys prefer Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops 2 or maybe even Call of Duty 4 or World at War so again hope you guys 
enjoyed this video make sure to go ahead and follow me on twitter that's how you guys are going to ask me questions make sure to also go ahead and follow me on instagram go ahead and also like my facebook page all those links will be in the description below make sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already i upload daily even sometimes even multiple times a day it's been quantum ft and i'll see you next time